Hi everyone. Welcome to amazing channel of Brilliant Katha. When you are rubbing one body with another body, electrons are transferred from two, from one object to what? Another object. Okay, this process, this type of electricity is been given a name. Halogen connected carbon sp3, then it's connected to benzene. See all of you, halogen connected. What is this carbon hybridization? Full single bond sp3, see then a benzene ring. Denominator poles shouldn't be included in the, the denominator poles. That means the denominator, these minus 1 and minus 5 should never be included, should never be included in the solution. Homo circle caudal fin. It's giving two equal lobes. But in case of cartilage, we just look at here, one big lobe is there, one small lobe is there. You cannot cut into two equal half this fin. Hello students, welcome to Brilliant Qatar. Welcome to 16 days MCQ challenge. How are you all? How are you doing all? We are very close to our final exams, right? Next month only our final exams. That means this month 22, it's starting actually, but our bio exam is in next month, 16, 19th March, right? So I hope you all are doing your preparation well at home. And today we are going to discuss two major important chapters, high weightage chapters. We know biotechnology twin chapter from 12 marks can come in the final exam. So I am here with you uh, with different, different type of HOT questions. I hope you all are ready. Shall we start this session? By your last, last class, we have discussed what tell me molecular base of inheritance. This session in this class, biotechnology and biotechnology applications. So, this session will help you to, to get good marks in final examination. All of you ready with NCRT textbook? Don't sit alone, my dear. Take NCRT textbook and try to listen this class. Look at the first question. First question. Are you ready? Are you ready, my dear kids? Shall we start? Look at the first question. The question says, if a recombinant DNA bearing gene for ampicillin resistant, recombinant DNA, that means RDNA, ampicillin resistant, is transferred, is transferred into E. coli and the host cells, are spread on agarose plate containing ampicillin, they are given. So we created one RDNA, RDNA technology. In RDNA technology, we know selectable markers are there. What are selectable markers? Tell me. Ampicillin resistant gene, tetracycline resistant gene, laxi gene, right? So what in the question is telling? Look at here. This is one vector. Okay. This is one plasmid. Here, ampicillin resistant gene is there, right? And this ampicillin resistant gene, this is RDNA. This is RDNA, right? And this is one more vector is there. Here, there is no ampicillin resistant gene. So, we are trying to insert into a host. This is E. coli host. E. coli host. And here also, I try to insert into the host. This is E. coli. This is E. coli. Now, first, let me call this is A vector. This A host and this is B host. Now, A host receive our RDNA. Receive our RDNA. Ampicillin resistant gene receive our RDNA. This entire host is now I call transformant, right? This is called a transformant. This B host, B Icharesia coli host did not receive my target. Does that mean RDNA? It did not receive. So, I can call, tell me this is called non-transformant. non transformant non transformant so when i place this two host in a ampicillin plate can anyone of you tell me which one can grow which one can die can anyone of you answer me which one can grow which one can die they are asking look at here first both transformant and non transformant recipients will die they are giving so here transformant have ampicillin resistant gene right so it will not die so this option is not correct 
I hope you are following me. Next, both transformant and untransformed recipients will grow. How can this non-transformant and untransformant can grow? Tell me this don't have the ampicillin resistant and this will die. So this is also not correct. What about the third one? Tell me transformed recipient cells will grow and untransformed recipient cell will die. What is the correct answer? Tell me here which one die, which one survive. Here the transformant will survive because it has a ampicillin resistant. And the second one is what? Tell me non transform Non transformed recipient will die because they don't have what? Tell me ampicillin resistant is not there. So what is the correct answer? Tell me option C is the right answer what about the third fourth option fourth option transformer recipient cells will die how can transformer recipient cells will die they have ampicillin resistant right they have ampicillin resistant they can tolerate this ampicillin antibiotic yes or no so what is the correct answer of this question answer is option c i'm clear this is a one of important hod question from biotechnology selectable marker and identifying the transformer and eliminating the non transformer I hope this this question is clear clear my dear right next question look at the next question next question identify the activity of endonuclease exonuclease both are given here identify endonuclease exonuclease both are given here one is called endonuclease is there one is called exonuclease is there endonuclease enzyme can cut or cleave the DNA in the middle right in the middle endonuclease enzymes can cut the dna in the middle exonuclease can cut in the extremes right so there are four diagrams four major uh, uh, endonuclease function exonuclease function given we should identify which one is the correct direction now look at here this one endonuclease enzyme here endonuclease enzyme in the middle it's cutting in the middle it's cutting right and exonuclease in the extremes are cleaving the dna fine extremes are cleaving the dna here it is what they call endonuclease look at the option d option d also same thing is given inside it's cutting the dna here it is extremes are cutting the dna right so option b and c in option b extremes are cutting in the what they call endonuclease so i'm eliminating this one it's not correct because endonuclease enzymes cannot cut in the extremes can cut in the middle of the dna right so b option is not correct so i'm leaving so c option even in the c option also extremes are cutting here endonuclease enzyme extreme it's not correct so option a or option b left both are left here which one is the correct one i can say come on which one is the correct one out of this a and d which one is the correct of endonuclease and exonuclease enzyme sir both are correct same only right but 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 wait a moment student look at the polarity polarity is very important in this case you should focus on the polarity in the a option they are given 3 prime to 5 prime is given better endonuclease enzymes can cut from where 5 prime to 3 prime right so the appropriate answer is what 5 prime to 3 prime here this endonuclease enzyme cutting here it is also 5 5 prime to 3 prime so what is the correct answer of this question a or d a or d i did answer for you all ah come on can anyone of you tell me what is the right answer of this one option d is the right answer carefully look at here they given both are same what they call uh, uh, cleavage but polarity is most important students 5 prime do you remember g a a t t c tell me g a a t t c how can we write the g a a t t c g 5 prime g a a t t c right 5 prime g a a t t c we will write and this is 3 prime so this exactly this place eco r1 is cutting right eco r1 is cutting between g a so we are not writing 3 prime to 5 prime we are writing 3 5 prime to 3 prime and 3 prime to 5 prime the second complementary dna so what is the correct answer of this one option d is the right answer because 5 dash to 3 dash so second question answer is what tell me option d is the right answer look at the next question next question can any one of you guess the correct answer of this question come on all of you try come on all of you try this one the key tool key tools required for the recombinant dna technology they are asking key tools are there this is two more question can also come student carefully look at here for the r dna technology to construct r dna technology to construct r dna you need some tools you need some enzymes you need some vectors to make r dna 
can you tell me what are the key tools of here tell me key tools are first restriction enzyme right restriction enzymes are very very important restriction endonuclease enzyme very very important to cut the dna at a specific area right specific position you cut the dna so it's very important next polymerase enzymes yes polymerase enzymes also important next ligase enzymes to join two dna particle it's important right next one is what tell me vectors vector also important to transfer the gene from one place to other that be to host the vector is important to carry our desirable gene next to host organism yes host organism could maybe tell me bacteria it could maybe maybe, maybe bacteria uh, it could maybe plant cell it could maybe animal cell it could maybe host cell it is a host uh, fungi cell so this, this all are what tell me host only now bioreactor so this bioreactor is not a part of key tool right key tool of rdna technology is five polymerase enzymes ligase enzyme restriction endonuclease enzyme vectors and host are the five major rdna tools are there without this tool you cannot construct rdna for example induction uh, restriction endonuclease enzymes are not there how can you cut how can you cut the desirable dna at a particular uh, position you cannot cut and if ligase enzyme is not there how can you join your desirable dna with the vector and how can you conduct, construct rdna so answer is what the key tools are 1 2 3 4 5 where is the 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 i 5 option d is the right answer i am i correct clear everything clear are you there students come on right right next question next question we are discussing next question this is most important sample paper question this is actually it is not a mcq question student but i wanted to discuss this one this is one of most important look at the carefully this is insertional inactivation is given we know insertional inactivation lag z gene beta galactosidase enzyme insertional inactivation as a one of the selectable marker to identify uh, transformants and eliminate non transformer right look at the question carefully what the question is given this is bacteria here it is bacteria is given this is bacteria okay now this is our plasmid and this is our gene of interest fine gene of interest the image below shows the result of plating bacteria chromogenic medium after incorporating gene of interest in plasmid some plates had blue colonies some are blue colonies are there some are or tell me white colonies are there so when will this white color form or when will this blue colony form when will this blue colony and when will this white colony forms look at here this is my this is my plasmid okay plasmid in this plasmid what is there for example this is lag z gene is there this is lag z gene now what i'm doing here in the in between the lag z gene i'm inserting my desirable target dna this is my target gene i'm inserting now when it insert now when it insert answer me beta galactosidase in the lag z gene will become inactive so when lag z gene inactive this will not undergo mrna that means transcription and it will not give beta galactosidase enzyme beta galactosidase enzyme will not come beta galactosidase enzyme will not come and moreover for example let me take the next one let me take the next plasmid this is plasmid okay this is plasmid and here it is lag z gene is there this is my desirable dna target dna right target dna i'm trying to insert into this lag z gene but this did not insert this did not take the second plasmid did not take okay this this is called b plasmid and this is called a plasmid right so a plasmid took our dna but P, b plasmid did not b plasmid did not so i insert this plasmid into host bacteria this is host this is host bacteria and i insert try to insert this for transfer into the host this is host come on answer me now into this one better what happened here this one inserted gone inside this is our transformer okay this is our transformer right now this one receive our what they call rdna but that rda that this 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 plasmid don't have our target dna right so leave it what happened if i keep in this lag z it as a lag x gal if i keep in x gal chromogenic substrate here due to the absence of beta galactosidase enzyme the synthetic lactose remain white in color right remain white in color because beta galactosidase enzyme will convert that convert that lactose into, uh, uh, lactose into what will be blue color colony so here it will be white 
it will be white what about this one here beta galactoside enzyme still working that means when you keep in the x gal chromogenic substrate it will convert into wait tell me it convert into blue colony now answer me when it convert into blue colony that means that is your non transfer this is your non transfer this is your non transfer this is called what tell me transformer now answer me which of this one this is bacteria plasmid gene of interest now this one receive this first vector is received and second one did not receive any one of you answer me which one is called which one is the one is going to make blue colony and white colony so i can tell what tell we here here i can tell tell me first one is called here plate one is convert into white color that means remain white color plate two is convert into what tell me blue color white color and also blue color so answer me here i can write identify the plate which is white color plate one is white color plate two is blue color plate three did not receive any plasmid any plasmid rdna and non rdna non uh, they did not receive so plate three will not talk. so we are writing what tell me plate one and plate two remember insertional inactivation process most important for the identification of uh, transformer and eliminate what non transformer keep in mind next question look at the next question what the question is telling the recognition site for bam h1 is given recognition site for bam h1 where is this bam h1 what is this bam h1 if you able to recall this bam h1 in pbr322 is present in ampicillin resistant tetracycline resistant ori is given where is the exactly bam h1 is present one minute student one minute Now, where is this BAM H1 and PBR322 present? They are asking. Ampicillin resistant site, tetracycline resistant site is given. BAM H1, this is the most important look at here. Most important look at here. This is, this is PBR322. PBR322 vector. Plasmid. Artificial plasmid. Remember students right side and left side left side is tetracycline resistant gene is there right side is ampicillin resistant gene is there right so here i am writing this is called tetracycline and this is called ampicillin in the tetracycline resistant this is called tetracycline this is called ampicillin in the tetracycline two restriction sites are there one is called BAM H1, one is called SAL1. So look at here. Recognition site of BAM H1 and PBR322. Ampicillin is no. What is the tetracycline? Well, what is in the ampicillin? In the ampicillin, PVU, PST is there. PVU, PST is there. But here it is called BAM, BAM H1, BAM H1, and the second one is SAL1 is there. Sal 1 is there. Keep in mind. So answer is what? Tell me option B is the right answer. How many tetra, how many antibiotic resistant genes are there? Two antibiotic resistant genes are there. One is called anti uh, amp ampicillin, one is called tetracycline. You got my point? Next one. What about this? Select the correct set of names label A, B, C, D in the given diagram. Can you do this? A means A. What is this A? What is A, B, C, I, D? A. Shall I call this whole structure as a proinsulin, right? It is a proinsulin. Why, sir, it is proinsulin? Because, any one of you? Because A polypeptide chain is there. B polypeptide chain is there between A B polypeptide chain. What is there? C polypeptide chain also there. One is A polypeptide, one is C polypeptide, one is D polypeptide. In a pro insulin, non functional, immature pro insulin, three polypeptide chains are there A polypeptide chain with 21 amino acid, C polypeptide chain with 33 amino acid, D polypeptide chain with 30 amino acid, right? 30 amino acid. This is called what tell me non functional pro insulin, non functional or pro insulin we can call. 
In case of insulin, mature insulin or functional insulin, answer me what happened. We all already learned in functional insulin, this C polypeptide chain will remove a polypeptide and b polypeptide chain let me take b polypeptide little big b polypeptide chain which bonds will form tell me disulfide bonds form not hydrogen bonds disulfide bonds form between a b polypeptide chain this is this is called what tell me mature in insulin mature insulin you got my point insulin so answer me what's the correct answer of this one now i will Call first one is pro insulin. Yes, A pro insulin. What is B? B, what is B here? A polypeptide chain, right? Next, uh, uh, sorry, a, a, a peptide, B is A peptide, this one is A peptide, C is called B peptide, and D is called C peptide. So, B peptide and a free peptide. I got my point free C peptide, free C peptide. Once this free C peptide form matured insulin, that means AB polypeptide chain what form disulfide bond form and that will become what mature insulin. So I can call option B is the right answer. Are you with me? You got my point? Clear? Right? Good, very good. Next question. Next question. Next question. Look at here. This is a little typical to understand. And they're asking incorrect statement. Can you can you answer this one? Can you answer this one? Following statements describe the characteristic of enzyme. Restructional endonuclease is given. Restructional endonuclease enzyme characteristic they are given. Identify incorrect statement they are asking. They are asking incorrect statement. What is the, correct, what is the incorrect statement? The rest, should be, the rest three should be correct statement. Now, the enzyme binds to DNA at specific site and cuts only one of the two strands. Next, the enzyme cut that sugar phosphate backbone at specific site of each strand. Specific site of each strand. The enzyme recognizes specific palindrome nucleotide sequence at the DNA. Okay. The enzyme cut DNA molecule and identify position within the DNA given. Four options given. My dear kids, biotechnology chapter, my end, destruction endonuclease enzymes are most important. You should follow this one. You should remember this one. Restriction endonuclease enzyme cannot cut one of the two strands. It will cut both DNA strands, right? You, you just take this one is the restriction endonuclease enzyme is there. Let's take here, this is G A A T T C. Uh, here it is C T T A A G. You take anything, any palindrome sequence, C C C G G G, and here also G G G C C C. Anything you can take. Now tell me here, it will cut from here like this. Both DNA strands gone like this. Both DNA strands it will cut. It will not cut one of the DNA strands. Look at the first option. First option, the enzyme bind to DNA at specific site. Till here everything cut. Yeah, correct. Cut only one of the two strands is given. No, it will not. It is not correct. Restriction endonuclease enzyme can cut both DNA strands. Not one. And moreover, restriction endonuclease enzyme cannot act on the single stranded RNA or single stranded DNA. Restriction endonuclease enzyme exclusively for DNA, double stranded DNA to cut. You got my point? So answer is what? Incorrect statement is option A. Option A. Right. Correct, correct. What about this one? What about this question? Try, try this question. This is steps of our DNA is given. Steps of our DNA is given. Try. What is given here? The different basic steps of generally uh, uh, genetically modified organism given below randomly the given below our DNA steps are given randomly the given. find out which is the correct statement which is the first second third fourth correct statement first one identification of DNA with desirable genes correct this is I am calling first step one transfer of DNA into progeny okay keep aside it is not a next step maintenance of introduced DNA into host this is also not a correct step introduction of identified DNA into host cell right step number two after introducing into host you should be maintenance this is three 
after that progeny 4 so 1 4 3 2 where is 1 4 3 2 1 4 3 2 yes option b is the right answer i am i correct i am i correct i am i correct right 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 so all of you answer me yes 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 now look at here next ah uh, next 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 question very simple question easy question any one of you the specific sequence of dna that initiate replication of alien in our dna technology there is a specific sequence important to start or initiate the replication very easy question very very easy question any one of you any one of you give me the correct answer any one of you give me the correct answer which one you did not understand vedant which one previous one this one or this one tell me which one you did not understand first you need to select the desirable dna once you understand you once you identify this dna i wanted to make i wanted to copy that means i wanted to clone our dna the, uh, sorry, uh, the uh, target dna insulin producing gene or you know, whatever the gene you are that first you need to isolate identify desirable gene and after that introduce into the dna host cell you have to introduce into the host host could maybe bacteria or plant cell or animal cell you just introduce from there you should maintain the dna and after that it will go to the progeny it will make it to the clone and go to the progeny so steps these are the proper steps i hope you are ah, good very good so next one is what tell me here the specific sequence of dna initiate replication is what oh, origin of replication can anyone of you give me where is the transcription start where is the transcription originate or initiate for the transcription process specific area is there what we call that area what we call that area for transcription promote our site right promote our site for the transcription process replication is for what ori remember kids this ori multiple ori multiple ori in eukaryotes eukaryotes and tell me single or one ori in where prokaryotes like bacteria so remember a particular area from where the replication started it's called ori if you able to recall the characteristic feature of vector it should have ori it should have recognition sites it should have selectable marker it should be small in size it should undergo self replications you got my point so these all are the characteristic feature of a ideal vector otherwise you cannot select as a vector otherwise you will not you cannot use that vector in the rdna technology pbr322 artificial one puc19 artificial one and normal plasmid you will obtain from the bacteria or have all this characteristic feature bacteriophages plasmids thai plasmids lambda phage bac yac these all are vector examples you got my point next origin of dna origin of replication next what about this question ADA enzymes in the ADA enzyme therapy gene therapy biotechnology application chapter can you do this can you do this carefully read carefully read with simple question try to understand what they are asking a patient has a defective gene for the enzyme adenosine deaminase so ADA gene deleted gone we know this is a deletion type of mutation where is this gene actually present i told you this gene is actually present in the b and t lymphocyte cell this gene undergo transcription and translation to form adenosine deaminase enzyme which is essential for the maturation of bt lymphocyte cells question asking here adenosine deaminase he or she lack functional cells of therefore fail to fight infectious pathogen so there are two important acquired immunity cells are there what are these two cells what are these two cells any one of you answer me any one ah, lymphocytes right sanjay what type of lymphocyte here both lymphocytes is given or one lymphocyte is given see b lymphocyte t lymphocyte both lymphocytes actually because t lymphocytes imported in cmi what is cmi cell mediating immunity b lymphocyte cells are made humoral immunity both are important in acquired immunity if you closely come down phagocytes macrophages nk nk cell you know nk cells natural killer cells are the examples of innate immune system 
innate immune system is called inborn immunity so the right answer of this question i can call i can say option a ada enzyme is essential for the development and maturation of bt lymphocytes bt lymphocyte cells are playing crucial role in dash where where acquired immunity remember one is called b lymphocytes are anti antibody producing immunity cell mediate immunity t lymphocyte cells you got my point so this ada enzyme deficiency people a, a person who is suffering with this lack of this enzyme that this is called a skid s c i d skid disease so acquired immunity very 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 no, no, absent acquired immunity absent now what about this question most important beta very very important question that's why given the reference of insecurity also i'm giving here can anyone of you answer this one can anyone of you answer this one cry 2 ab cry 2 ab and cry 1 ab both are given we know cry 2 ab cry 1 ac cry 1 ab there are three different type of genes are there cry protein synthesis genes which are resistant uh, which are sensitive to whom insects yes or no lepidopteran dipteran coleopterans we discuss this one it will make a cry protein in alkaline medium it will convert into a toxin protein which can make a perforation in the gut of insects and the insect will die this mechanism we know but they are asking careful look at here they are asking cry 2 ab and cry 1 ab produce toxin control what toxin control cry 2 ab cotton ball worm 2 ab abc remember 2 abc 1 abc is what tell me cotton bone uh, bo, uh, what do you call corn corn borer is it correct is it correct look at ncert what ncert mentioned look at the reference now these are number of them for example proteins coded by the gene cry 1 ac cry 2 ab cry 1 ac cry 2 ab control cotton ball worm here 2 ab cry 2 ab cotton ball worm cotton ball worm correct now here what about cry 1 ab cry 1 ab corn borer cry 1 ab corn borer corn borer borer remember students this type of questions can come you should remember all these three genes cry 1 ac cry 2 ab ac ab likes remember uh, it's it's uh, uh, controls cotton ball worm remember and uh, a b controls what tell me corn borer remember you got my so what's the correct answer of this question option a is the right answer of this question cry genes remember cry crystalline protein genes are very very important for the uh, making of bt cottons bt brinjal bt soybean we done this one right next question what is the next question this is one incorrect statement we should identify can any one of you identify can any one of you identify which one you did not understand my dear tell me which one you did not understand previous question or which question come on ah incorrect statement which of the following is statement is incorrect they are asking something is incorrect out of the four option one option is incorrect option dna being hydrophilic molecule cannot pass through a cell membrane statement correct this statement this option correct because of this reason we are making competent to host do you remember in theory competent to host by the making of by the keeping into the, uh, that cell and dna into where uh, bivalent cations you got my point then bivalent cations when you are making it's permeable increase the permeable permeability of the cell membrane i am taking the dna into the cell competent to host second one agrobacterium tumefaciem deliver a piece of dna known as z dna which transform normal plant cell into tumor cells i direct this tumor cells produce chemical against the pathogen is this statement correct is this statement correct come on answer me is this statement correct okay previous one i'll explain one more time don't worry i'll explain one more time next retrovirus adenovirus papilloma virus also now used as a cloning vector in animal because their ability transfer normal cells into the cancer cells 
इन जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग डीएनए फ्रॉम डिफरेंट सोर्सेस आर कट विद द सेम रिस्ट्रक्शन एंजाइम सो दैट बोथ डीएनए फ्रैगमेंट हैव सेम काइंड ऑफ स्टिकी एंड्स समथिंग रॉन्ग इन द फोर ऑप्शंस इफ यू नो बायोटेक्नोलॉजी एप्लीकेशन बायोटेक्नोलॉजी प्रोसेस एंटायरली वेक्टर एंड टाइप व्हाट दे कॉल एग्रोबैक्टीरियम ट्यूमिफिशियम यू वुड इजीली आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन can any one of you can any one of you answer this question something wrong in this one yes it is not a z dna it is a t dna it is called tumor inducing type plasma t dna but what is given in the option b agrobacterium tumefaciem deliver piece of dna called z dna is given it is not a z dna it is called what tell me t dna trans tumor inducing plasma t i plasma t dna so incorrect statement is option b you got my point come back so here they asking there are three different type of cri protein synthesis genes are there in the to uh, uh, bt bacteria bacillus thuringiensis bacteria in bacillus thuringiensis bacteria cri protein synthesis genes are three what are they cri1 ac cri2 ab and cri1 ab these three type of genes are there okay this three type of genes are producing three different type of what they call cri protein the gene cri ac cri uh, cri1 ac cri2 ab what about the protein is synthesizing my dear this protein is sensitive to corn but cotton ball worm cotton ball worms are sensitive to this gene protein are you with me next this corn borer is sensitive to cri1 ab protein cri whatever this protein is coming from cri1 ab this protein is very very sensitive to what will make cotton bo bo corn borer so they are asking which gene controls which type of insects they are giving so we know tell me 1 ac 2 ab control cotton ball worm i said next 1 ab controls corn bor you got my point my kid you understand my this this question now i'm going to the next one what about this what about this very easy question i i hope all everyone know this one can any one of you can any one of you do this a, a linking of antibiotic resistant gene with the plasmid vector become possible with linkage two dna particle linkage how can you join how can you link this two dna particle any one of you any one of you tell me ah any one of you what is the correct answer of this one rna ligase dna ligase dna polymerase rna polymerase dna polymerase for dna replication rna polymer for rna synthesis mrna and transcription rna ligase to join the rna particle dna ligase it is a glue dna ligase is a glue if you able to recall my second question i said the key tools of biotechnology dna ligase is a glue dna ligase is a gum like it used to attach two dna particle it's used to uh, join two dna particle so i'm going with dna ligase what about this question oh this is a sample paper question mcq 2023 sample paper question can any one of you do this question come on what is given in this question which of the following techniques serve the purpose of early diagnosis of di disease early diagnosis the patient is not showing any symptom early diagnosis you should identify the disease without symptom form early diagnosis of diseases any one of you tell me we will go to doctor with the high uh, characteristic with high symptoms right when pathogen develop in our body very huge so we show the symptoms like fever vomiting or different different symptoms with that symptom we go to the doctor by that time the pathogen concentration in us increase like anything but you need to identify the disease in early stage you don't have any symptom but we should identify which disease is this which parasite is this, which which uh, uh, virus is this can you look at this one they are asking recombinant dna technology serum analysis serum analysis is not there recombinant dna technology fine urine analysis no urine analysis serum analysis only when you do the pathogen concentration maximum very high next rdna technology 
नेक्स्ट पीसीआर एलिजा एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट आई टोल्ड यू दिस इज द सेम क्वेश्चन इन 2023 पेपर आल्सो रिपीटेड माय डियर रिमेंबर अर्ली डायग्नोसिस ऑफ डिजीजेस इज पॉसिबल बाय थ्री मेथड्स वन इज कॉल्ड एलिजा एंजाइम लिंक्ड इम्यूनोसॉर्बेंट एसे दिस टेस्ट इज बेस्ड ऑन एंटीजन एंटीबॉडी कॉम्प्लेक्स फॉर्मेशन एंटीजन एंटीबॉडी कॉम्प्लेक्स फॉर्मेशन पीसीआर पॉलीमरेज चेन रिएक्शन एंड आल्सो आर डीएनए टेक्नोलॉजी दिस थ्री मेथड्स आर यूज्ड टू यूजफुल टू डिटेक्ट डिजीज इन अर्ली स्टेज रिमेंबर so i am going with option c option d is given serum is given again again here unit analysis is given so this is not correct are you with me you got my point right what about the next question next can any one of you do this one simplest question so this session this session in this session i selected a moderate simple and hot question statement based question also can any one of you do this what is the the first restriction endonuclease what is the first restriction endonuclease molecular caesar come on come on any one of you sana can you answer this sanjay can you answer this what is the first restriction endonuclease enzyme they discovered it is nd Three Hindi two eco R one eco R two is given. Any one of you? Any one of you? Right. The answer is what? Hindi two is the first one. What is the bacteria name? Hemophilus influenzae. H I N Hemophilus influenzae. We will write the first one with uh, first letter is what? Tell me genus of the bacteria. I N is influenzae. It's what? Tell me species of bacteria. Straining and also based on discovery number. So I am going to what option B is the right answer. What about this? What about this? Try to think. This is. A little need to understand this question first. What they are asking? How many fragments will be generated if a, a linear DNA molecule is digested with the restriction enzyme having four recognition sites on the DNA? One more time, carefully read. It is a linear DNA. It is what linear DNA. Let me take the linear DNA. Look at here. This is a linear DNA. Eukaryotes have a linear DNA. This is a linear DNA. And molecular di digested with restriction enzyme having four. So four places you are using restriction molecular. That means four places you are using. Tell me this. molecular caesar second place i am taking this is third place i am i'm taking this is fourth place fourth place is four places you are cutting how many fragments are forming so you are cutting here you are cutting here you are cutting here one two three four fragments You got my point here here one this one one two three four so there are four four so can any one of you answer this one can any one of you answer this one Ah, here it is having four restriction endonuclease enzyme linear DNA with four places you are cutting one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, and this fragment five. So this after this one there is a fragment, right? Right after this one there is a fragment. So that means total five fragments will form. The same thing if I take as a circular DNA. Let me take the circular DNA. Circular DNA one, two. Three, four places I cut. So one fragment, second fragment, third fragment, four fragment. But in case of linear DNA, five fragments will form because how many endonuclease enzyme? Four endonuclease enzyme. So you should remember number of endonuclease enzyme plus one more frag, one fragment. In case of linear DNA. But in case of circular DNA, number of restriction endonuclease enzyme equal to the number of fragment what they form. Look at here, one this entirely one fragment, this second fragment, third fragment, and fourth fragment. But they given linear DNA, so linear DNA make what tell me five. So answer is option B. Am I correct? Then yes, then I got correct. Five, five the fragments will form. What about this question? Simple, very easy question. Now look at here. Very easy question. Which one of the following case of wrong matching? They are asking something wrong here. Somatic hybridization, fusion of two diverse cells. Right, tomato, potato cell, tomato cell, tomato, two diverse cells, somatic hybridization. Correct. They are asking wrong matching. This is correct. Next, 
वेक्टर डीएनए साइट ऑफ टी डीएनए टी आर एन ए सिंथेसिस माइक्रो प्रोपगेशन विन विट्रो प्रोडक्शन ऑफ प्लांट इन लार्ज नंबर कैलस अनडिफरेंस असर अनऑर्गेनाइज्ड मास ऑफ सेल प्रोडक्शन इन द टिश्यू कल्चर कैन यू गिव आंसर व्हाट इज द राइट व्हाट इज द इनकरेक्ट स्टेटमेंट कम ऑन कम ऑन कम ऑन इनकरेक्ट स्टेटमेंट एनी वन ऑफ यू कम ऑन सना संजय ट्राई ट्राई फॉर दिस आंसर व्हाट इज द करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ दिस वन What is the correct of correct correct answer? Wrong statement is vector DNA is it's not a site of R DNA. It is what tell me? It is site of what tell me? mRNA synthesis. Vector is not for what tell me? tRNA synthesis. Vector is for what? mRNA mRNA to protein synthesis. So we will go with incorrect statement. Option B is the incorrect statement. Ah yes, it's the B is the incorrect statement. What about this? What about this? Look at the question. Restriction endonuclease. Restriction endonuclease are enzymes which. Which read the four options carefully. Make cut at any position within the DNA molecule. Any position, any position it will cut or a specific position it will cut. Don't know. Think next. Recognition a specific nucleotide sequence for the binding end. Then cleave both DNA strands. Restriction the action of the enzyme DNA polymerase. Remove nucleotide from the end of the DNA. Remove nucleotide. The end of this one is exonucleated work, right? So keep it. Leave it for say so yeah, option. Option D. Leave it. Option C. Restrict the action of enzyme DNA polymerase. Leave it. What is the correct answer? Remember, my dear kids, I told you so far, 900 restriction endonuclease enzymes so far have been identified. Each restriction endonuclease enzyme have a specific. It will inspect the length of DNA and exactly a particular specific site we call recognition site. It will come and cut both DNA strand. It will cut. Look at the option one. They are asking here. It cut any position? No. Okay. Uh, 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 recognize a specific nucleotide sequence bind there and cleave absolutely correct restrict the action of a no it will not restrict the action of polymerase and it remove the nucleotide remove the nucleotide is exo not endo you got they're asking endo nucleus so option b is the right answer option b is the right answer this time pcr pbr322 restriction endonuclease enzyme thoroughly prepare and go even gel electrophoresis also from biotechnology principal chapter what about this question what about this which of the following options is not correct regarding eco r1 enzyme one is not correct about eco r1 can any one of you guess which one is a wrong statement out of four restriction endonuclease enzyme yes it is a restriction endonuclease enzyme any one of you sana can you guess what's the correct answer yes sanjay sana any one of you guess the correct answer here the uh, endonuclease enzyme isolate from ichiraishia coli eco ry13 correct cut at a specific position within the dna correct it cut the dna between gg is correct which one is correct is this correct the last statement is correct or a particular particular site is there for this uh, restriction endonuclease enzyme sir eco r1 cannot cut between gg it cut g a exactly this place it will cut so i am going with option d is the not correct sequence not correct ah g a it will cut not g g in between g g it will not cut it will cut g a wherever g a is there it will cut so answer is option d is the not correct statement what about the next one what is the criterion for dna fragment movement on agarose gel during gel electrophoresis in gel electrophoresis if you if you add this dna fragments in the wells wells are located at where negative charge yes or no that yeah, uh, that dna particles are more towards the positive charge so which fragment will move farther which fragment is slow move and toward the negative side chalo answer me now answer me all of you large uh, the large the fragment size farther it move no large size is slowly it will go and it's what they call negative side slowly it will go 
so if it is a small fragment fastly it will move farther it move towards what tell me towards uh, what they call uh, positive now i can tell the smaller fragment size farther move yes and positively charged fragments move farther what positively charged dna is negative charge right next negatively charged fragment do not move no so remember gel electrophoresis is that process to separate dna fragment based on the size smaller fragment farther move larger fragment towards the negative side you got slowly slowly it will move so gel electrophoresis is that process to uh, separate the dna fragment based on size remember so i can go with option b is the right answer next question any one of you do this question pbr322 pbr322 vector question can come identify a b c d in the given diagram e coli pbr322 identify what is a what is b this this time this academic year my dear march 19 our bio exam pbr322 chance is there high chances is there pbr322 last year did not repeat did not come pbr322 this time pbr322 there is a chance you got my point so all of you carefully prepare and go how many restriction sites are there how many selectable markers are there how many rop how many ori you should remember the the full form of pbr322 plasmid of bolivar and rodriguez prepared this right so this uh, uh, discovered is a made this entire uh, artificial uh, uh, plasmid so what is a b uh, c and d i told you i told you like this right right side is ampicillin left side is tetracycline come on answer me b is i can call tetracycline b is tetracycline and here it is eco r1 eco r1 site is there right next after that salvan is there rop this is exactly uh, next to the rop is what is ori site is there and d is what tell me ampicillin resistant ampicillin resistant gene this is tetracycline resistant this is ampicillin resistant find out the correct answer what is the correct answer yes and correct answer is what option a is the right answer so look at here how many total restriction sites 1 2 3 mm, here it is one more is the right it is 4 uh, bam h1 5 6 7 8 recognition sites recognition sites how many rop 1 rop repressor of protein 1 ori next how many selectable mark two selectable markers how many are there two what are they ampicillin and tetracycline especially my dear kids remember if you if you wanted to cut the dna in the ampicillin how many recognition sites are there or if you wanted to cut the dna in a tetracycline how many recognition sites this you need to be very careful for the two mark question in case of tetracycline tell me two one is called bam h1 and sal1 remember if your notes with you write down this one a tetracycline 2 bam h1 and sal1 ampicillin again two. what are they sal1 pst1 and pvu1 so answer is option a is the right answer next question next question choose the correct pairing from the following correct pair something is wrong three options are wrong something is correct can you answer this one ligase is ligase is join the two dna molecule polymerase is break the dna molecule nucleases separate the two dna strands exonucleases may cut at a specific position within the dna something is correct only one option correct rest of three wrong any one of you can any one of you ah any one of you come on come on right ligase enzyme join to dna molecule absolutely correct what's wrong in the bcd what's wrong in the bcd in b polymerase is okay break the dna no, no no breaking dna is endonuclease right it is not a polymerase so leave it this is not correct nucleus nuclease is separate the two dna strand my dear dna strand separating by what helicase enzyme right so this is not correct next uh, exonuclease so what's wrong in the exonuclease last d it's also correct right is it correct is it correct can any one of you guess is it correct sir exactly exonuclease enzyme cut extremes not within within endo endo within what is that that is actually endonuclease but there goes within the dna no it's not correct answer 
राइट सो आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी इज द राइट आंसर आई मै करेक्ट आई मै क्लियर सर नॉट क्लियर एवरीथिंग क्लियर नेक्स्ट संजय नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट अबाउट दिस वॉट अबाउट दिस स्टेटमेंट बेस्ड क्वेश्चन केयरफुली रीड an answer look at this one what is given which statements which statement given is incorrect statement there are incorrect statement right in micro injection method foreign dna is directly injected into the nucleus of animal cell by using micro needle they are asking incorrect statement micro injection method is used to oocyte egg embryo correct Electroporation is the formation of temporary pore in the plasma membrane of host cell by using lysosome and calcium chloride. In chemical method, gene transfer method, certain chemicals such as calcium phosphate help in the foreign DNA to enter in the host. Something wrong. Incorrect statement. Can any one of you find out what is the correct one? What is the incorrect statement? Any one of you? Any one of you? If you closely read the option, option C, electroporation is formation of temporary pore in the plasma membrane host of cell by using lysozyme. Lysozyme enzyme is antibacterial. If you use and do you remember innate immune system of physiological, uh, uh, what they call barrier. Physical barrier, skin, sweat, we discussed, physiological tears, saliva, HCL, lysozyme enzyme is antibacterial and moreover in the biotechnology we, we know to isolate DNA from the bacteria you should use the enzyme called what? Lysozyme enzyme. You got my point? So this is not using lysozyme. So incorrect statement is option C. Got my point? Right. Next. Next. Last question. Last question. Right? Today's last question. Look at here. What is given here? Which of the following is not a feature of plasmid? Can any one of you tell me? Not a feature of plasmid. Not a feature of plasmid. Two more questions I'll do. Uh, come on. Which is the not a characteristic feature of plasmid? Try. Any one of you try. What is the correct answer of this one? What is the character of this one? We have time students. So we'll go few more questions. Can any one of you, which of the following is not a feature of a plasmid? One, cultural structure, sorry, circular structure, transferable, single stand, independent replication. My dear kids, remember all of you, plasmid is always double strand. If it is, if it is not a double strand, how can you ligate DNA with plasmid? Plasmid, if it is RF, a single strand, DNA will be double strand. How can you ligate double strand DNA with the uh, single strand RNA? It's not correct, right? So DNA, uh, plasmid is double circular extra chromosome of bacteria. Self-replicable DNA it is. So plasmid is never what? Single circular, single stranded. So they are asking, which is a not a feature of plasmid? Say, say a circular, okay, it is circular structure. Transferable, yes. Single stranded, sir, it is a double strand. It is a, what tell me, it is double strand. Look at it, it is not a single strand. So C is not a characteristic feature of plasmid. Got my point? Next question. Oh, this is also, this is also most important molecular diagnosis topic from biotechnology applications. Can any one of you look at here? Can any one of you answer this question? Choose the correct statement for molecular diagnosis of disease. Correct statement. Using conventional methods of diagnosis, serum, urine analysis, early detection is possible. I told you early detection is not possible with urine and serum. So this statement is not correct. They are asking correct statements. By the time when the pathogen has produced a disease symptom, the concentration of pathogen is already high in the body, right? Because of that one, we show the symptoms of fever or, or whatever the headache symptoms, this all. Because of pathogen concentration maximum high statement correct. Come to the third one. The clone having the mutant gene will not appear on the photographic film. What's wrong in this one? Is this statement correct? Kids carefully read this uh, statement. Carefully read this statement. The clone having the mutant gene 
will not appear till you are everything correct. Because whatever the gene you are looking for, that complementary strand probe you made with radioactive molecule. But if that DNA is undergo mutant one with the mutant DNA seq, when your probe will not go and make a bind. So in the hybridization process, you will not get that one till you are everything clear. But where? How can you identify this uh, hybridized DNA? This autoradiographic plate or autoradiography. But they are asking photofilm. You have a photofilm. So this is wrong. Last, ELISA is based on principle of antigen antibody. Absolutely correct. So two statements are correct. Three, four. Where is three, four? Where is three, four? Uh, so two, four. Where is two, four? Two, four is option A is the right answer. Till you everything clear? Yes, A is the right answer. What about the next one? What about the next one? Which of the following is a plasmid vector? They are asking. Which of the following is a plasmid vector? PBR322, SAL1, BAM2 uh, and also what they call eco R1. My dear kids, remember whenever you see, whenever you identify one capital letter and two small letters and one number, that is actually restriction endonuclease enzyme. It is not a plasmid. It is not a vector. You got my point? In every restriction endonuclease enzyme nomenclature, to give a name to that one, I told you from 230 different type of bacteria, 900 restriction endonuclease enzymes so far have been identified. So these enzymes are cutting DNA at a different different position. But how to identify sir? This is restriction endonuclease enzyme. And this is plasmid. This is host. How can we identify? Remember, if you see one capital letter and after that two small letters, after that one number is there. That is not a plasmid. That is restriction endonuclease enzyme. We can give a name like that. So this is one capital, two small, one number. No, this is not a vector. One capital, two small, and one staining is there. One number is there. So this is not a vector. Sal one capital two. What they call uh, small letters are salmonella amylogus. So this is not a vector. So answer is option A. How simple PBR322 is a vector. Which vector? Artificial ratio. Artificial vector. Got my point? Easy student biotechnology application and biotechnology chapter. Once you understand the entire theory, you will start uh, answering questions from biotechnology only in the exam. That much of simple this chapter. But the problem is majority of the students will not perceive, majority of students will not understand this properly. So try to work out any topic, any topic not properly understand. We have time before final exam, try to brush up the concept. Look at the next question. Look at the next question. Ah, This also one, what they call last question. Today's last question and statement based question is given. Can you look at this question? What the question is given here? Ah, This is also the HOT, you need to think, try. Pigs are the most preferred mammals for studying gene transfer. A transgene is a foreign gene incorporate of which uh, in a host cell can make a transgenic. ADA deficiency cause severe combined immunology disease. Yes, skid I said. Two insulin polypeptide are linked cross, cross linked via hydrogen bond. So four options given here. They are asking which of the above statement correct statement is given. We know two Polypeptide chain in insulin is disulfide bond, not a hydrogen bond. So, remove this one. Third option, skid. Yes, it is correct. Second one, transgene or foreign gene is incorporated in the host cell can make a transgenic animal. Yes. So, second one, third one is correct. Pigs, no, so we normally mice will use right to gene transfer. Rats and mice like that one, right? So, correct answer is second one and third one. So, I will go with option two and three. So, my dear kids, all of you, I hope you enjoy this session. This questions will help you to, to get good marks in MC in final examination. And this is a right time to pick up and brush up your concepts where you are lagging. So, all of you, high weightage chapters, please, all of you, I'm requesting to not to ignore. Try to revise molecular biotechnology, biotechnology 
biology application human health and disease human reproduction these chapters are high weighted chapters so next class i'm starting with i'm i'm, I'm coming with one more chapter that is human reproduction or human health and disease i will decide but principles of inheritance also one of the important evolution chapter also one of the important i'll come with new chapter in next class try to all of you revise this chapter and attend my class you understand and this video try to watch one more time to brush up the entire concepts like biotechnology pbr 322 pcr got my point thank you all of you thank you for attending this class you off in between right?